short, sharp, succinct look around these markets. This is the S&P's daily on the right, weekly on the left. You can see we've had three weeks of buying. Uh, that is the highest close ever in the S&P's. But the last Friday we just narrowly closed underneath that resistance area. You can see. So we need to hold up there if we can hang around here and start closing above here. I think we can at least go to 2,000, possibly higher. Uh, start having an open and a close in here. So I would even use Friday's range as a, as a as a big marker. Yeah, I think either way, we need an open and a close either side of that Friday Friday's marker, and that could give us direction. Well, let's face it. At the moment, you know, that, that is a very strong move off of the monthly S1 down there. And just look at the Dow. We are following suit, but obviously hitting an area where we failed here in uh, late July and dropped significantly. So I'm on high alert to see where we close on this Bank Holiday Monday. And that's a bit of a hangman on the FTSE. A break 67.84 and we're going higher. Let's have a look at the Forex. There's just a few charts of interest in the Forex. The Aussie US is okay. A little bit of a hangman there. <clears throat> it's been quite a tight range. Well, it has been a very tight range, so I'm just standing aside of that one. Staying on the subject of the Aussie, let's look at the pound Aussie. And you know, we sold off from 183.75, coming very, very close to a major support level at 177.50. So I want to see how that behaves at 17750, but um, yeah, that is not holding up at the moment, and we could come all the way down to 175. 175 would be a very interesting area. Monthly S3. So on the face of it, that one is not holding up. Pound yen. I would buy. I, I still think we're heading. We're going to potentially work our way up to 180 at the back end of the year. I would buy any pullback to 172 and hold I would add to my um, contracts that I bought, my September contracts. Right, pound US uh, significantly you know, seeing a lot of dollar strength and no signs of that holding up at the moment. We could potentially come to 164 down there at monthly S3. So any pullback to 166.40 uh, is shortable. Okay, so very short and sharp, and um, I will now do a stocks video. So if you want to see the stocks video, let me know. Otherwise, see you at the next update.